Hey guys, so it's officially confirmed, Tesla has moved all vehicles to Hardware 4 and the latest one being the Model 3 Project Highland vehicles that have been spotted around town. What this means is that older vehicles like my own is going to no longer be supported officially. Well, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's going to slowly happen until the very point that it's not going to be supported at all. If you can recall back to Hardware 1, Hardware 2, Hardware 2.5, and then now the upcoming hardware 3 it seems like they slowly are getting phased out of the software updates typically when newer hardware comes out and it makes total sense that the engineering team focuses on that new software and hardware instead of the previous one major updates are going to be few and far in between and you're gonna start to see less and less until the very point that you're only gonna get those bug and security updates so if you've recently picked up your hardware for vehicle you're pretty much few future proof for years to come, better and bigger features are going to arrive slowly and surely, whereas Hardware 3, you are going to get updates, especially with FSD beta, but there are some limitations I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's start off with the biggest one here, and Elon has specified that the visualization one day is going to be mimicking the real world out there. So what you're going to see outside of your windshield is exactly what's going to be displayed on the MCU, and that means means that the processing power is no longer going to be compatible. Things I'm talking about here is grass, trees, buildings, water, rivers, and a bunch of other good stuff that you're able to see and process with your own eyes and brains that it's just not possible for hardware 3 and its limitations to compute all that information. As of right now, and the reason why you're just seeing blank spaces outside of the boundaries of the lane lines is because Tesla wants to use as much of that computing power to focus on the road but there are a lot of other obstacles in the road that makes a lot of information and a lot of sense that the car just cannot see. A few of the scenarios I can see being important to FSD beta and that is animals and object detection that are smaller than a moose, a dog, a cat, uh, things like a bird flying in front of you or objects flying off of a vehicle, potholes, languages, text, lane lines and other bunch of objects that is unable to see and detect right now is due to to the compute power of Hardware 3, the limitation is there and this is the reason why. So Hardware 3 in its current state right now has two separate nodes. One is the regular node for full self-driving and the other one is the redundancy, the backup node. Think of this as two separate brains and if one brain fails, it cannot use the second brain as a backup until the car gets fixed. But what Tesla is doing with FSD beta here, I can say is a little bit of a risk. They are using both of the nodes at the same time to run FSD beta. So essentially there is no backup at the moment. If it fails, it literally will fail. So you have the fact that you're running the risk of both of it failing and your car completely shutting down or causing a huge accident and definitely we don't want that to happen. So that's why they've been developing hardware 4 ever since hardware 3 was developed. But even so in its current state, it's just a matter of time where the limitation, the ceiling is hit and hardware 3 with its both nodes can not compute the power that the single node of hardware 4 is able to. That is one big thing that is important about hardware 3 and then there is the secondary thing and that is the fact that the camera and the resolution of the sensors are very weak. It's very low resolution. Hardware 3 cameras are in a sense a webcam camera. At 1.2 megapixels, it literally is a webcam. At 1.2 megapixels, this is like the iPhone 4's front facing camera. It is just generally very bad and it's unable to see things from a far distance and accurately detect what it is. A lot of the time, it's just using predictions and guesstimations and using the neural net to mesh all the information together and try to get a clear image out of it. So now with hardware 4, we are getting 5 megapixels and if we round it a little bit, it is roughly 4 to 5 times clearer than current hardware 3. So yeah, just to sum everything up, it is a big upgrade and things are going to change with hardware 4 and things are going to get a lot better. But you guys already know that by now, hardware 4 is definitely going to be better than the predecessor. 
However, it is going to be a big deal if Tesla is going to support Hardware 3 that much longer. If I had to put a timeline on it, the official support for Hardware 3 is going to last maybe another year before Tesla totally transitions over to Hardware 4. This is why I've been recommending you guys to hold off for Hardware 4 regardless of its Project Highland, Project Juniper, the redesign. It is very important that you guys get the new FSD board as well as the new upgraded cameras. This will set your vehicle up for at least four to six years down the line before Tesla thinks about the next hardware. So yeah, if you don't want to miss out on the latest and greatest and I feel for all those old Model S's and X's and hardware 2 and 2.5, they're missing out on a bunch of good stuff. Some of them sentry mode, some of them the dash cam, some of them the interior cam. There's so much going on with hardware 2 to hardware 3 that it's going to be even bigger with hardware 3 and hardware 4. So just to spit out facts here, I wouldn't worry about what Elon says about hardware 3 fully doing full self-driving. It honestly just is not possible. It's not going to be four to five times safer than a regular human driver. Even with hardware 4, I sort of have my doubts if they don't upgrade the new additional cameras, which we will see in the new Project Highland vehicles. If you guys missed that video, make sure you guys watch it. I'll drop a link somewhere up top there and in the description below. That will show you guys the new front facing bumper camera and a bunch of other upgrades as well. But yeah, obviously as a business, they don't want to lose out on sales and delivery numbers just because people are waiting for hardware 4. So of course the team is going to pump up hardware 3 vehicles and make them sound more capable than they are. They've actually just recently released a brand new animation of a hardware 3 model 3 on their tesla.com website and they're doing this right before Project Highland vehicles are out. This means that they're trying to get people to buy as much of the inventory Model 3s as they can before they release the new vehicles and they want to make sure they do this through incentives, through federal rebates and a bunch of other discounts like free supercharging. So if I were you guys and you guys were me, I just hold out in total and just wait for your vehicle to get hardware 4 and straight up just wait for Project Highland if you were planning a Model 3 anyways. Anyways, I will continue to monitor all this and at the meantime guys, if you do have hardware 3 in your vehicles, just enjoy it. But if you do plan to buy a brand new Model 3 or Model Y, make sure you guys hold out. This is John once again, peace out.